Hey YouTube, it's goodie time again. And this time I got some pins here from the folks at Parku. They're called Parku Colors. Apparently, you get 36 colors, create vibrant colors. At least that's what we're being pumped up to do. So let's look into this right after this short intro. All right, well these are permanent markers. They're color markers from Parku here. Parku colors, there's 36 in this pack here. I love nice permanent markers. It says fine point. So they're fine points. Here's what the back looks like. Ah, uh, da, 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 da. Okay, you got all that. Hey, look, there's a reflection of uh, a camera. Okay, cool. I won't edit that out. Anyway, um, I have been informed that I should use paper that isn't too thin because uh, this stuff here is so inkadelic that it will bleed through the paper. I think I should test that out anyway, just so that you guys would know. So, first off, you can take a look at what kind of colors we have here. We got a whole assortment of stuff here. We go from yellow then we got orange here, so that's your peach and kind of light, whatever, apricot colors here. Then you get into your kind of your pinkish, uh, then your reddish, pinkish, purplish, purples, uh, that, that, uh, whatever that is. Maroonish, reddish, bluish, purplish, greenish, brownish, grayish. I'm making a whole new language here. It's not Klingon, though. <laughs> okay, light bluish-ish. And another bluish-ish and some more bluish -ish. All right. All right, good. Enough of that nonsense. Let's unload this. Oh, and it's inside of another plastic dillabob here. Look at that. Okay, here we go. Now it's, now it's starting to bleed out. Ah, pins. I like pins. Plastic. I hate plastic. Oh. Sorry, I don't know why I always do that. Okay, so let me go get some paper, different paper, and we'll try this out. Okay, so I got me some paper here. Oh, and that plastic I threw away? Yeah, I had a second thought. You know, what would I do with all these ink pens all over the place if I didn't have a way, way of storing them? So I went ahead and reassert them all back in here again. See how I got it all nicely organized in color code and well, okay, maybe it's slightly out of order. Ah, okay, who cares? All right, so here we got, this is really nice printer paper in my inkjet printer. It's the like 32 pound paper. And this here is drawing paper. It's the 90 pound drawing paper. And then I'm also going to use this Arteza 32 sheets watercolor pad. So you might say that this video is going to feature two products. It's going to feature the Parku colors and it's also going to feature the Arteza 32 sheet watercolor pad because it's the only watercolor paper that I happen to have on hand and I have not yet tested this paper and now I have something really good to test it with. Yeah, real inky permanent markers. So we'll get back to this in a second. One more thing, since a lot of people don't use uh, this kind of paper for uh, their laser printers, though they might use regular copy paper or you know, they call laser paper. I'm going to include laser paper too. That's your regular like 20 pound stuff, very thin. And uh, we'll see how the ink pens work with that as well. Okay. So We'll try one at a time, and I think we'll try this cheapest paper first and see how it withstands the inks. Now, with that said, of course, the darker inks are going to be the ones that will likely uh, bleed through. So let's grab a few darker colors here, just for giggles and gaggles. And I'll grab a couple of light ones, just for comparison's sake. Okay. Now let me put the rest of these away. So, 
let's inspect one of these close up since this is basically the Parku permanent marker review video as it says in the title. Okay, this is what it looks like and it tells you it is a fine point. It has the color on the cap itself, which is to be expected. Nothing else out here to look at, so let's go ahead and open her up. The tip, it looks like, is already inked. So we don't have like a uninked white thing where you have to press down to get it to feed. Now, is this one of the plunger types? Let me see. No. So this is already ready to feed ink. Let's go ahead and do that. And I'm going to zoom in because some of us can't see. All right, here we go. So this is the blue. And this comes out juicy inky. Look at how inky this thing is. Very nice, very nice. Okay, there's the blue ski. Let's try the lighter blue washy gray ski color here. Yeah, and that goes on really wet, really wet stuff. Okay, and how about some purple? So far, I am real happy with these. Boy, oh boy. Okay, good. So, they're nice and wet. Nice and wet. That's what I want. And we're going to see the bleed through here in a minute, I'm sure, because they warned me. They says, hey, this stuff is wet. And if you use thin paper, it's going to bleed through. So, we're going to find that out here in a second. One more color. Let's do one more color. Okay, one more kind of a dark or maroonish looking color here. A good grape juice color. Good burgundy color for those who drink wine. Not you kitties, so no, don't you do that. All right, so we got some really pretty color going on here. Let's look at the back. Whoa, look at that. Bleed through. Yep. All right, so let's get rid of that. Next. We're going to use my 32 pound, very slick printer paper. Now this is also paper that I use in my printer, my Artisan 1430. Uh, I use it because it's a really high quality uh, thick paper and I just love the way it fills in my hand when I print out my documents and stuff. Come back focus, don't go out of focus on me here. So let's try this again. Maybe. Maybe it'll offer a little bit of bleed through resistance. We'll find out. So again, let's try, you know what? Let's try different colors now because we can. So that way we get to debut more colors. So let's now debut these colors. All right, so I'm gonna start over here with this green, nice green, look at that green. Nice, rich, vibrant colors. There's no doubt about it. It goes on really nice and wet, but it dries quick, I'm sure. Yep. So it goes on wet, dries fast, and it's permanent. So don't draw it on your face. It'll be a while before it comes off. All right, look at these colors. These colors are nice. Look at this red. I really like these pens. This is nice. Look at that. And some purple. Let's do some purple. Yeah. Well, I wish they sent me more of these. I'm going to be sad when I run out. I seriously am because these are really, really nice. And here's a light blue. All right. So here are some nice vibrant colors. Look at these. Are these cool or what? Now. Let's see how this 32 pound inkjet printer, and this is made to take ink from a printer. How does it handle this really wet stuff? Oh, bleed through. All right, so that is some potent stuff. All right, next is my 90 pound. This is 90 pound drawing paper that I use for a lot of my reviews and stuff, I'll draw on this paper here. It's a very thick paper. It's 90 pounds. It's made for drawing. 
I wonder if it will handle this ink. Let's get some new colors here into the play. Let's do this one, which is kind of a teal. And uh, here's a brownish. And here's a super dark blue. It looks kind of black, but it's a really, really dark purple thing. I have a black, but I want to use the black because I know that's just going to look like a regular black marker. Here's an orange. And we need some more vibrant colors in here. So how about this? whatever this color is here. It's kind of a flaming flamingo pink thing. All right, or maybe this is a more of a flamingo pink thing. Yeah, let's swap them out. Okay, now let's try these little babies out, peeps. Let's try this pink first. Wow, it's almost neon, kind of a glow in the dark look to it. Okay. And here's teal. Teal's an awesome color. Usually it's a marine color, you know, for like boats and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Teal. All right, and then you got this brown. It's usually a number two color. <laughs> oh gosh, that's like the first thing that came to my mind. I'm so sorry. This is a family channel. Okay, and we have here a very, very, this is a very dark blue. I don't know if you can see that, but that's a dark blue. Look at that, look at that. You might go, wow, that's kind of black. No, that's a rich, dark blue. All right, and then last but not least, we got ourselves an orange here. Let's do an orange. Look at that, all right. Nice, pretty colors. Okay, so. Will we get bleed through on this 90 pound drawing paper? Oh! Why? One paper left to try out. This puppy was made for watercolor. Okay, this is about as thick as it's going to get here. Now let's see, what is this? That's 140 pounds, people. And just so you wanna know, it's a nine inch by 12 inch. You get 32 sheets in here. So, and apparently it even has some kind of a discount code, 20% off here. And uh, if you join their club, and here's some helpful tips. So anyway, let's try out this Arteza watercolor and boy is that a thick paper that is it is like there's got any more than one here no that's a single sheet look how thick that thing is okay so let's see how this handles the ink now i'm going to use the smooth side there is a rough side and there's a smooth side so let's try the smooth side here now let's try this lime green and this, um, I don't know what color that is. Here's a, like a peach. And um, here's, uh, we haven't tried a, like a regular kind of an orange, not the, not that um, neon thing. Here's a yellow, let's try a yellow too. So let's try these and, and you know what? And look, there's still a whole bunch of colors I have not tried yet. So there is a lot of colors in this, 36 colors. There's a lot. I mean, you are you are not going to be running out of colors anytime soon. So let's try, let's try these. Here's the peach. Okay, and here's a yellow. And here's a green, or lime, I should say. I call this lime, but boy, it goes on pretty greenish to me. Look at that. It's kind of a, that's darker than lime. So that, that's close. It's just on paper, it comes out a little darker. That would be like a green for me compared to, compared to this green here, which comes out, whoa, really dark green. Okay, so this is a lighter green. And on paper, there it is, it's starting to look way better look at that okay and all right we got uh let's see this um boy i tell you if you can tell me what these colors are down in the 
description below, that would be great because I, I don't know what color that is. That's kind of a, I don't know. Rose? Is that a rose? I don't know. Pink rose? Kind of a pink rose? And then you have, this is orange. This is like the fruit orange. Okay, it comes on like pretty dark, dark there. Look at that. And then it starts to dry. When it dries a little bit, it gets lighter. All right, so how does this 140 pound Arteza paper for watercolors, this is for really wet surfaces, and this is wet. How is it going to handle this? Yay! Okay, we get a little bit with the darkers, but hey, that is pretty good. It's not bled all the way through. If you look real close, what we're seeing is simply, we're just seeing through the paper, but it's not bled through hasn't bled through. So that's pretty good. Pretty thick. So here's the advice from both the Parku folks and and me because I guess I didn't ask the folks at Arteza. But I would use a very thick watercolor paper such as this Arteza 32 sheet watercolor pad here premium because it's been tested and it can handle the wet inky stuff. And here you go. Here's all these colors and some. Hours of fun with every kind of color under the sun. Well, that's about all I can say about permanent markers from Parku Colors. They're 36 colors and they're pretty wet and colorful. I hope you liked this video. If so, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Click the notification bell so that you will know in a timely manner when I send out my next video. And thank you so much for watching. See you next time.